Today we're going to find out how to use 175mm filament on the Ultimaker 2. So there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to use 175mm filament on the Ultimaker 2, but really our main reason is because we just have a lot of it. There's also some advantages, like there's less stress on the motors, there's less pressure on the nozzle, and there seems to be more exotic types of filament that are in 175mm. So let's see what we have to do. So we've tested hundreds of hours printing 175 filament with really good results. It's actually pretty easy to do, and it doesn't require any hardware modifications. You can change the diameter of the filament on the LCD screen using the rotary dial. Be sure to check out our written guide on the Adafruit Learning System for a full tutorial and step-by-step -step instructions. To properly guide 175 filament into the feeder, you'll need to adjust the tension screw so that there's a firm grip on the material. Use the Insert Material option to begin the loading process. The motor will slowly move the filament through the guide tube, and once you see it pass through the feeder, select Ready on the LCD to fast forward the filament. Wait for the filament to pass through the Teflon tube area and let the nozzle purge the material for a moment. When you're ready, select the material that you've inserted, either PLA, ABS, or something else. Now you can start printing, it's really that easy. Depending on your slicing software, you may want to dial down the filament diameter in your printer profile. Now to unload 1.75 filament, you'll need to follow these steps exactly. So let's start by heating up the nozzle. Once heated, pull out the filament guide tube from the printer head. It should take out the filament along with it, and you'll notice a blob at the end. Use the Move Material option to advance the filament forward so you can cut off the end to get a clean tip, and that'll avoid getting stuck in your feeder. Now you can use the Change option to unload the filament. Be sure to insert the filament guide tube back onto the printer head before loading new material. Make sure it's inserted all the way, passing through the outer spring and Teflon tube. And now you're safe to insert the filament and wait for the nozzle to purge. You can begin printing once the material has fully purged. All right, so there you have it. That's how to use 175 filament on the Ultimaker 2. If you have any questions, you can let us know in the comments below and we'll gather them up and answer them on our live show that's on Google Hangouts. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing videos and projects from Adafruit. I'll see you guys next time.